Good evening everybody, today we're counting down the top 10 heaviest Pike albums by guitar icon Buckethead. For this list we've considered all of Buckethead's Pike albums right up to Pike number 275. So let's begin. A delightful mix of heavy rock and speed metal, 2014's Calamity Cabin brings the mosh pit right into your living room. Hard and heavy, pike number 82 will slap you upside your head and you'll be thankful it did. Telescape is bloody glorious. While it might not be the heaviest album on this list, it's certainly the most well-rounded, accessible and enjoyable. From slow, heavy pounding riffs to burst of madness, Telescape 1 is a standout song from the album and an absolute mindfuck when listening to it with headphones. Number 24, Slug Cartilage, mixes heavy rips with weird guitar noises like only Buckethead can. Each song hits you with a thunderous rip, then lets you regain your breath for a few seconds before hitting you with another. Delightful. On this list, pipe number 25, Pancake Heater, probably takes the prize for being the album most likely to turn you into a bobblehead. Pancake Heater will make your neck sore and piss off your neighbours. Great stuff. could take an angry pit bull who has rabies and plug it into an amp, then it would sound just like pipe number 20, Thor. Buckethead makes his guitar growl and throff at the mouth with his heavy offering. The songs melt in season and in the bin are particularly addictive, and the main riff from the song Dry will stick in your head all day like a piece of shrapnel. <laughs>
In a previous video on this channel, I said that 2004's Island of Lost Minds was one of Buckethead's heaviest non-Pike albums. And with Pike number 260, we are taking a trip back to the island. 2017's Ferry to the Island of Lost Minds is ferocious, nasty and relentless. Just how you like it. Boiling Pond is straight up kick ass metal. With song names like Pummel and Pile Driver Impact, you know there's gonna be some face melting brutality. Most of the songs on this album are under 4 minutes long, so you can happily endure one beating after the next. <laughs> me you like your heavy rips mixed with some guitar shredding brilliance, then 2016's Last House on Slunk Street is the album for you. With 16 relatively short songs on the album, the best way to describe it would be, imagine if Buckethead's 2002 album Funnel Weaver dropped acid. Woo! Number 30, Mannequin Cemetery is nasty, dirty, and all out metal. Buckethead channels Pantera and the late great Dimebag Daryl and completely fucks his guitar. Thrash metal brilliance at its absolute finest. And one of the best albums to listen to if you're about to hit the gym. hit the comment section and say hey you missed this one or hey what about this one remember that we are all different and for me these are the top 10 pikes that make me want to punch myself in the face because i like how it feels <laughs> and so the number one heaviest pike album by buckethead is 2014's Pike number 44, You Can't Triple Stamp a Double Stamp is absolute bloody madness. 
if you listen to this album whilst driving, then you'll probably end up killing someone. And if you listen to this album whilst babysitting, you'll probably end up pouring milk over a baby's head and won't even know why you did it. Relentless, thunderous, ferocious, brilliant.